Hi, hi everyone. Today we are starting with revision of retirement of partner. Okay. In the revision of retirement of partner, see basically a partner can retire from the business anytime. A partner can retire from the business anytime provided that with the consent of all the partners. Consent of all the partner is required to get retired from the firm as well as if the agreement says something else so many partners uh, consent is enough he can get retired in that way also retirement might be due to lot of reasons conflict between the partners might be the one thing age age issues might be one problem health issues might be one problem he wants to retire he want to get out of all these business things one or he might want to re, you know shift somewhere else he want he want to uh, you know go for some other business alone or you want to join some other person so all these are the certain reasons for the retirement okay so at the time of retirement from the accounting point of view what are the things we should do one is calculation of the new profit sharing ratio and the gain ratio two distribution of a reserves and accumulated profits and losses three revaluation of assets and liabilities fourth adjustment for goodwill five adjustment for jlp six settlement of final balance of the retiring partner seven adjustment of the existing capital of the accounts so first calculation of the new profit sharing ratio let us assume there were three partners now one partner want to leave the organization so the remaining two partners should continue no so how they are going to share the future profit after the retirement of some person will be called as a new profit sharing ratio okay the old par old partner will go old partner will go old partner or partners might go when they go they will leave the share of profit that is share of future profit right how they are how the remaining partners will be going to share that future profit of the retiring partner is called as a gaining ratio that is gain ratio so in simple terms we can say gain ratio is nothing but new ratio minus old ratio gain ratio is nothing but new ratio minus old ratio it is exactly opposite of a sacrificing ratio in case of the admission even meaning is also opposite okay so next one is distribution of reserves accumulated profit and losses listen as the partners everyone together they strived hard to make the business they made lot of profit out of profit they kept certain reserves they kept profit as it is or they made a loss and uh, loss they didn't share they kept it in the balance sheet now as all the partners are entitled for all these three items as all the partners are entitled for all these three items if the retiring partner going out then at that time what these partners will do is existing partners they will share it they will share it because all the three partners are entitled no if uh, if retiring partner is not given benefit out of this that is cheating to him if it's a loss and only the existing the remaining partners are going to share it then that's also cheating for the remaining partners so what they will do who are responsible for that all the three partners were responsible okay before he goes out just to share it among all the three partners same as admission existing partner existing partner which ratio profit sharing ratio profit sharing ratio next one is revaluation of assets and liabilities as i already explained in the admission chapter either increase in the asset responsible people are partners decrease in the asset responsible people are partners decrease in the liability responsible people are partners increase in the liability responsible people are partners so whatever might be the changes in the assets and liability the effect should be given to the partners who are the partners only the continuing partners or all the partners work towards it all the partners work towards it that's why for all the partners at the time of retirement we are going to give a credit or debit credit in case of a gain debit in case of a loss of revaluation of revaluation which ratio sir profit sharing ratio which profit sharing old profit sharing ratio done now the adjustment of goodwill comes always remember guys adjustment of goodwill gaining partners capital account debit to sacrificing partners capital account only one entry gaining partners capital account debit to sacrificing partners capital account where the goodwill is not coming in the books what if goodwill is already reflecting in the books sir in our balance sheet there is a goodwill then what they will do is what they will do is 
फर्स्ट दे विल राइट ऑफ दट गुडविल फर्स्ट दे विल राइट ऑफ द गुडविल ओके ऑल पार्टनर्स कैपिटल अकाउंट डेबिट टू गुडविल अकाउंट बिकॉज गुडविल विल बी देर इन द असेट साइड ऑफ द बैलेंस शीट सो डेबिट बैलेंस नव वी आर गोइंग टू क्रेडिट इट एंड गिव द क्रेडिट टू हूम हु आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर सच गुडविल ऑल द पार्टनर्स आर रेस्पॉन्सिबल सो गिव क्रेडिट टू ऑल द पार्टनर्स ओके फाइन Later, if that is not there, simple gaining partners capital account debit to sacrificing partners capital account. Who are the gaining partner? Remaining partners will be the gaining partners. Who are the sacrificing partner? The partner who is retiring is a sacrificing partner. Gaining partner should compensate the retiring partners in their gain ratio towards the goodwill premium. Okay, sir, done. Next one is adjustment of the adjustment for the JLP. Listen, JLP is joint life policy which is taken by the firm. to reduce the risk of uh, liquidity at the time of death or retirement of a partner right so now when the reti retirement happens usually life policy they will pay the maturity value at the time of death surrender value at the time of any other cases here this is not the death this is any other case that is retirement so insurance people will pay only surrender value so that surrender value will come as premium is paid out of the pnl for which all the three partners were entitled now all the partners not only three usually in textbook they will give three partners but all the partners were entitled including the retiring partner as well as existing partners now if money any money comes towards that jlp the same should be shared among all the partners again okay in their profit sharing ratio settlement of a final balance how we were going to settle the final balance simple he, you might pay it immediately or you might pay later you might pay later you might transfer it to the retiring partners loan account for that you will pay certain interest and you will pay it later you can pay it in a lump sum that is after one year you are going to pay along with the interest or you can say for the next 5 years we are going to pay you so much installments so you can pay it in installment or in pay in in kind of lump sums okay uh we have seen certain illustrations in this right so that's it in the retirement there is one more thing retirement come admission retirement come admission here what happens one partner will go that is the partner who is already there in the business will go into his place one partner will come the new partner will get admitted so old partner will usually take and go all his share the new partner should bring in all the uh, you know premium as a compensation for the existing for example goodwill old partner will take and go the goodwill portion what he is entitled for retiring partner whereas the new partner who is admitting he will bring the premium towards the goodwill okay simply you have to find out the gain ratio sacrificing ratio in that allot the goodwill whoever is gaining debit them whoever is uh, sacrificing credit them that's it there are certain questions upon that you can go through that later not a much difference from the admission if you know the concept of course admission time the partners will increase retirement time partners will decrease all the revaluation treatment is same memorandum revaluation will come sir yes there might be a chance of memorandum revaluation uh general reserves reserves will be there not only general reserves any reserves same treatment like admission which means we have to give it to the existing partners for whatever is already existed at the time of reconstitution after reconstitution everything is new that way so that's it that's it so in the next video we are going to see death of partner revision of death of partner okay until then bye bye